this is a good home for the night. With the powerful fans, it was just wonderful. No noise. Just the fans, that's good. Well, let's see what's going on outside. All right, we're done camping out. Yes, I'm on the bike Friday this year. Here's the odometer total. We'll zero it out. Make sure we can actually see it. There we go. So everybody's leaving. And so am I. Today's ride is referred to as the Pecan Grove ride. And you can see why here as I stand beside US 41, which will only be on for a short time. It doesn't have too much traffic. All right, Winston comes in for a landing. And we're, we need to find out how to pronounce the name of the town. Does anybody know how to pronounce the name of the town? It's, it is Araby. How about that? Well, that's good, but that's where we are here on Highway 41, part of the old Dixie Highway system. And we're here on... This, this guy used to be mayor, and some friends of ours called him the Sheik of Araby. All right. <laughs> Let me give you a little history. Araby is not Middle East. Okay, the founding father of this town was A. R. Bedgood. Wow. And he built that house right there. No oh, kidding. Let's see, it's the one, this one right here with the metal roof? Yeah, that's the one I'm renovating. Whoa, man, it's big. Wow, you could raise a family of 10 kids in that house. Uh, well, that's, that's one of the originals. But, but, but the reason it's called, I want to finish my story, the yes. reason this town is called Araby is when the train was built, laid the tracks down through they had to have names for all the towns because the conductors would spout out the name of the town that he was coming to. Sure. And it was A.R. Bedgood, and then it got shortened to A.R.B., which is now Araby. How about that? Yeah, so that's the history of where Araby came from. It didn't come from a sheik over in the Middle East. That's remarkable. Thank you very much for telling me that. From an old southern gentleman. Wow. Tell me your name again. Al Douglas. Al, good to meet you. Good to meet you. And I'm, I'm proud of you all are having a good time with this. I, I, yes, sir. Thank you. I, I've wanted to come through here for a long time. I've now I finally got the chance. When you retire, come back. I'll give you a good house to live in. Oh, wow. That's, yes, sir. All right, we'll see you then, and thank you. Take care. And I'll get one more shot of the town. It's up a little bit back that way, but it won't take very much time for me to go up there. Just get a quick shot. Let me take your picture with you. Peter. Hey. How's it going? And here's Ed. Yeah, it's really me. Okay. It's, it's great to see you in real life. Take your picture with your bike. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one right there. Oh man, you're looking sharp. Look yes, like a real bulldog today. Thing going on. Man, that is fine. And that's Dolly the bike, right? Yeah. All right. That is good. Dolly looks good. He's so clean. Man. All right, Ed, you doing okay? I am doing very well, Kevin. Thank you. It's a Late to be on Bragg again. Great to be in Araby. And isn't it wonderful that this isn't hilly? <laughs> yes, it is very wonderful. And it's cool today, overcast. Yeah, cool. Yeah. It can stay overcast all week. I like that. I like it. It's just fine. Yeah, so do I. All right, well, have a great ride. We'll Thanks, see you. Kevin. All right. We'll see you down the road. So, yeah, this is downtown Araby. We've got a country store. You can see our rest stop is way off in the distance. Here we are in Bedgood Avenue. And they have another little store up here. And as you can see, the way back to I-75 over there. And there is a road that parallels the railroad track. So that's your view of Araby, Georgia. Well, this is Buford Road. Yes, it's a lot more fun than Buford Highway in Atlanta, even though it is. Shake and bake. Shake and bake is chip seal, tar and gravel pavement, and that one will be a little bit memorable. But now we're back to the state highway, State Route 33. And way up there is Winston and Peter, and just might catch him. It's like a county line too. Let's see which one. All right.
I'm beside a branch of the Norfolk Southern line again. And yeah, a little bit of a hill there, I'd say, for both the railroad and for us. But back on Highway 41, and we're in Ashburn, and yes, a cool house there. Oh my goodness. And after we top the hill, we should be in downtown. Okay, now we're in Ashburn, Georgia. And here next to the courthouse is the Crime and Punishment Museum. You may have seen signs for it on the interstate before, but this is it. And you can see there's bars up there in the upper floors. And I'm going to go and see what can be checked out. But first, here's the historical marker from Turner County. And you can put your device on pause and read what it says. And here's one marker. I think that was very thoughtful of both the uh, people from Ypsilanti and people here. It's quite a story. It'll be interesting to look that up. So again, put your device on pause. And now I'll pan over. Get more, one more scene here. I don't think I'll be able to go into the museum this time because well, I take too long in museums, and I'm running so far behind. And this will be a place to stop and visit when driving someday, because the interstate's not very far away. Well, they do have a pair of stocks here. I don't think I'm going to try them out. And they, they don't look like they are fully operational, where you can actually lower the upper board onto the lower one and, and get trapped. But it uh, does make for an interesting photo op. <laughs> oh, boy. But anyway, uh, well, like I say, I'll come back later and visit inside another time when we have more time to look around. And so, we will leave Ashburn here shortly. Oh, Winston's going to try it. Oh, Winston's... Wow. You going to put your other arm in too? Hey, just another day at work, eh? All right, there you go. Yeah, that looks good. Now, let's see if I can get a still shot. They say this thing will take still, so let me try it. Yeah, send that to my boss. Yeah, really. <laughs> Yeah, I bet he'll get a kick out of that. Let's see what happens. I'm still so new with this camera, I don't know if it took or not. All right, well, we'll see you soon. Oh, while Winston escapes, we'll start riding. Now, Winston and I stopped at Zaxby's. And you can see I-75 is there. I remember starting a ride to Pensacola, Florida from here in 1974. Winston's all ready to go, and I almost am. And uh, the sun's coming out. It's, it's still cloudy, but we better put some sunblock on, too. All right, well, here we go. Oh, yeah, sunblock. One other landmark on the way out of Ashburn is the world's largest peanut. And it's right here by the interstate. You can see it as you're going north-south here along Interstate 75. Hey, they got my name up on that sign. Oh my gosh. Let's see if it'll focus. No, it won't. All right, let's try one more time. That's more like it. They've got a dedication plaque here on the side, so put your device on pause and check it out. And they've got a little place where you can take a rest, so remember, you can get off at the exit and come up this road, and here it is, so it's easy to spot. All right, well, let's head for Highway 41. We'll ride a little bit of it. Winston may ride a lot of it, so here we go. Sounds like fun to me. Yep. Well, this is a very quick view of Sycamore, Georgia. Winston's going to check out this route that parallels the railroad. And I'm going to go back up there and turn. No train yet. You don't see a caution light used much for the railroad, but there's one. And we'll get a shot of the train coming by if I can get out of the street.
said, you ever seen one of those? Now look at the end. Got some pretty fancy equipment back there. Ribbon rail. It's on its way to a new track reconstruction project. Unfortunately, Forest Park is not in that direction. All right, now this time I'm going to get the route right here out of Sycamore. Here we go. Well, this was the location of the rest stop. And the only thing left, yep, you guessed it. However, the man who lives here had some mercy on me, and I'm fixed up now with two water bottles full of cold water. And I uh, already had one of those to drink, so I'm fine. That's Kroger store brand version of Insure. But this is beautiful out here. And even though I'm the last one, I'm enjoying it very much. So we're just a few miles out, so we're taking on in. Well, I've seen these signs before along the interstate. Now I actually get to visit. Well, due to my late arrival, oh, now you know why I'm tent camping. Yes, there is no room in here at all. It is a tight fit, but I'll survive. But yeah, this is the Agorama. Check out the ceiling, it's pretty cool. Check out the cloud formations. I hope they all stay down there and don't come up here. Yeah, the camping is uh, a pretty tight fit as well. I'll show you our campground later. But I'm gonna go get something to eat. You can see all those places to eat off in the distance. So here I go. Yep, the white sea on the red background. Yes, I'll eat way over there. And now I've got to go over here. Yes, this is what Bragg looks like. All camped out in one place for the night. The last time we were in Tifton, we got to hear the train. Tonight we get to hear the interstate. But that's all right. It's open graded asphalt. The sound is pretty soothing. Unless the trucks get on the rumble strips. And then it's not. It wakes you right up. You can see them down here. As you can see, it's the end of the day. So, finish this one up. <laughs>